I'm Dennis Martin, president of DeMartech. In today's video, we're comparing the performance of the Broadcom 957810 10 gigabit network adapter with a competitive network adapter. As the deployment of bandwidth intensive applications such as public and private cloud computing continue to increase, IT administrators are turning to 10 gigabit ethernet technology for cost-effective and flexible methods of addressing growing network traffic demands. A key component of the 10 gigabit network is the network adapter with network protocol processing offload capabilities for greater host processor utilization. We conducted a series of TCP IP throughput tests, measuring the combined transmit and receive rates, as well as the transmit only and receive only rates. We also measured the CPU utilization during these tests. We used test equipment from Ixia to generate the network workloads. In our first set of tests, we ran network throughput tests using two ports of our 10 gigabit adapters transmitting and receiving at the same time. Here we see that the Broadcom adapter outperformed the competitive adapter at each of these block sizes. We also measured the CPU utilization of these adapters during these tests and found that the Broadcom adapter consumed noticeably fewer CPU resources during these combined transmit and receive network tests. This translates into better overall CPU effectiveness in megabytes per percent CPU utilization for the Broadcom adapter. When we ran the receive-only tests, we found that the Broadcom adapter again provided higher performance at all of the block sizes. We also found that the Broadcom adapter consumed fewer resources and provided better CPU effectiveness. For the transmit-only tests, we found that the two adapters were much closer in performance, providing very similar performance for three of the block sizes and a slight difference at the 8K block size. The only significant difference was at the 4K block size, where the Broadcom adapter provided better performance. Although the performance was very similar, the Broadcom adapter provided better CPU utilization and CPU effectiveness for the transmit-only tests. We ran another series of tests measuring small packet performance. For these tests, we ran single-threaded and multi-threaded packet routing tests at very small frame sizes. For the single-threaded packet routing, the Broadcom adapter was able to sustain a higher number of frames per second at most of the frame sizes. We also measured the percent of line rate that each adapter was able to utilize for these small frame sizes. The Broadcom adapter was able to achieve a higher percent of line rate in these tests. We repeated these packet routing tests in a multi-threaded configuration and found that the Broadcom adapter significantly outperformed the other adapter for most of the block sizes. The Broadcom adapter also achieved much higher percent of line rate during the multi-threaded tests. To get the full report, please visit our website at www.demartech.com or search for Demartech Broadcom 10 GBE Evaluation in your favorite internet search engine. While you're on our website, have a look at our other reports, evaluations, and deployment guides. We also invite you to sign up for our free monthly newsletter. I'm Dennis Martin, and thanks for watching.